Welcome back everybody. We're at the front of the boat and I want to show you where we're at now. So you see the seat compartment on the left. We enlarged the prior live well on the right to make for a larger seat compartment. And also it doubles as a way to be able to get access to behind that seat. When I say behind, we're talking under here because when we put our fiberglass on the back side to kind of give this a little bit more strength. We don't want to just do this side here. We want to do both sides. So what we're going to do is essentially allow a larger surface, which doubles for two reasons. One, you can have access to um, put more items under here, life preservers or whatever, whatever else you like. And it allows us to be able to lay fiberglass on both sides. You can see up here, we do have access to behind this side via this little compartment. But the problem with that is you won't be able to get your grinder to fit under here and or you won't be able to see. So you can kind of see what, what I'm alluding to needing to do here is you're going to have to create another opening. As you can imagine, when they build these boats, they don't allow for them to be rebuilded or rebuilt, refurbished if needed. So we're going to have to create access uh, areas so we can get behind certain places, which is what we've done here. You can see they've allowed three inches on this side. Same thing over here, three inches. So that's kind of where I got my methodology here is I measured three from here to just kind of create something that's uh, cohesive across both sides here. And then I also allowed three inches from there. If you're wondering what is the minimum that you want to allow for is obviously you want to be able to get your hand in there. Think about some of the items you may be putting in there. Uh, and then the other thing is we're going to be using a grinder in that area too. So if you have your grinder available, you want to make sure you allow a big enough access hole to be able to get your grinder in there. So there you go. One of the things you'll need to be able to do is because you're going to have a little grinding wheel on here and you're going to be able to go in there and turn it sideways. You may not be able to turn it per se like that direction, but you'll be able to go in there and, and kind of grind up this side. And then you'll see over here, you'll have access to be able to grind a little bit on this side. And through this hole, you'll be able to grind a little bit over there too. So there is this piece all drawn out. You can see I used a square to make sure everything was nice. All right. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to cut this piece out. All right. Okay. So you can see or here. I've got my mask on, I'm all suited up, ready to rock and roll. Let's get up there and start cutting. Okay, let's take a look. This was a little bit difficult because these blades aren't quite long enough. And as I was cutting along this edge, I noticed it wouldn't go down. And it's because they put Looks like a one by one in there. Surprisingly, the fiberglass that's encased around this piece of plywood, well, I mean, it does sit inside this top portion. But yeah, as you can imagine, it's this part is not damaged at all from water. Not too surprised. But take a look. Well, we've got a few little artifacts in here. Suntan, uh, sunscreen. Yeah, wonder how old that is. Hard to say. Still full. And then we got all the uh, other debris under here as well. So, but you can see the whole point of this exercise is so now we have access on this portion to be able to work underneath it, which allows us to effectively work underneath all of this here. 
All right, so now that we've effectively gained access to all three sides underneath this top portion, what are we gonna do next? Well, really what it is, it's gonna be a little bit of cleanup. So you'll see here, we've got this piece that's still in here. There's some wood underneath. As you can tell, most of it's rot, rotten. So you got a few options here. You're gonna, you can cut this out. I know this piece, I'm gonna go through and finish cutting this out and then this out. And you can see we've got a few different sandwiched pieces of fiberglass. We need to go in here and clean this all up. So when we put in our new marine grade plywood, we've got something good that this could sit up against. As of right now, this is not, not very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and from within here and on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up all the way around. Once we've got the front portion cleaned up, same thing here, right? Cut all these little um, leftover pieces out. Once we get all this cleaned up, we'll go ahead and start with the grinding phase. We're pretty, we're pretty close to that right now. There are a few little spots that you would benefit from. Right here, for example, from using the oscillating tool. Because you can use your grinder on this, but it takes so long to grind all this material down, it's easier to just, from the other side, snip this piece off. Same thing here too. Parts that are good for the grinder are like right here, where it's, it's just about flush. And then what you'll do is you'll go through and just make it completely flush on both sides. Same thing on this side here. You can see some like a little piece of the, the side that's still exposed from when I cut it off. Like that would be a good one to grind down. But like right here, for example, that's it's gonna be a little bit too a little bit too thick for the grinder. And we've got some residual pieces of wood. We'll take those out and then same thing, use the oscillating blade and then where the, the bilge area was. Uh, likely to, same thing. So as we move closer to the front here, right, we snip off those pieces and also at the very front, we want to get that out too because we want to make sure we have an even height for our marine grade plywood. So we want to cut out anything that's not necessarily something that has wood on it. Now this has got a little bit of dust on it, so I'm gonna flip it over kind of slowly. You can see here, tons of plywood underneath it that is, as we would expect, rotten. Look at that. So, very, very, very front of the boat. Also rotten, so not surprised. That effectively removes all the wood from the very front of the boat to the very back. What we're going to do in the next phase here, since we've essentially removed everything wood-wise, as I mentioned, we're just going to go through here once again and slice off all these little edges. You can see up front Got a little bit up there and also a little bit on that right side as well. As we finish removing all these high ends, we're going to start getting into the grinding phase. In the grinding phase, as you can imagine here, I've kind of saved to the very, very end, even as we look at the transom, because when you start getting into grinding, it will cover every absolute piece of this boat with really fine fiberglass and it's probably considered the most annoying part because afterwards if you want to be able to come back into the boat and you don't have your suit on you're going to have to essentially spray the boat down so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get absolutely everything that i can out of here we'll grind off all these little edges and when we start grinding you'll have to have a little hose ready 
and spray everything down. Otherwise, everything just gets coated. The other thing too is if you are working in an environment where there's animals around you, say you're doing this in your backyard, you're going to want to catch all the runoff that comes out of the back because that liquid fiberglass that comes out through your drain hole here, and that's where my old live well hole was, it's going to essentially kind of pollute your ground below there. So you want to get probably a five gallon bucket and sit it underneath that hole to catch it just so you don't pollute the ground. And yeah, I can just imagine your wildlife would probably love to, to, to drink that and you don't want that to have uh, happen. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting off all the high parts here. And we'll continue after this video with grinding. And grinding, as you can imagine, is going to be very, very dusty. So, I hope you like this one. Subscribe if you thought uh, the video series was good for you and you want to see some more. Like the video. Leave some comments if you're wondering, you know, how would you do something in your, your boat? Maybe it's a little bit different than mine here. Let me know. Look forward to seeing your comments and catch us on the next episode. Have a good one.